Hello friends, today let's see how to fix all the switches in Honda Activa. As you can see, uh, I have purchased all these switches online uh, from Amazon uh, for some 250 rupees, approximately 250 rupees. I'd be posting the product link in the description. Uh, you can use that link to purchase this uh, these switches. So it's a, it's 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 250 rupees for all the five switches. You get the uh, horn switch, starter starter switch, uh, the indicator switch, the headlight uh, dim and dip switch, and then the headlight on and off switch. So all the five switches. And in this video, I'll show you how to replace these switches as well as you can see this is a this is a 2006 model uh, Honda Activa it's almost uh, 17 years 16 to 17 years old but it has run very less it's around 24,000 or 25,000 it has run only 24,000 or 25,000 till now uh, as you can see uh, we will these switches are not working as of now they, I mean few switches are working few are not working so I just want to go ahead and change all the switches uh, uh, these all switches are uh the ones which came with the uh, uh with honda activa when i bought it in 2006 so as you can see this is the dim and dip switch i mean headlight high beam and low beam switch all the switches are just plug and play you just need a single screwdriver to change all these switches you can see in this video i'll be changing all the switches uh and all these are plug and play as you can see it's 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 17 years old switches so they're they're a bit stuck but all are just plug and play you just have to take the uh, plug out and plug in the new uh, switch into the same uh, ports how it was uh, plugged in so it's pretty simple uh, if you are having any issues uh, with your switches you can just go ahead and purchase the switches and change it by yourself all by yourself uh, as i showed you earlier uh, we get all the switches in this uh, so this is the um, headlight low beam and high beam dim and dip switch so you just have to uh, uh, you just have to push the uh, plug in and right now I have started the bike and I am just checking whether the dim and dip switch is working as it is working I am just again placing it back in for placing it back in you just need to push it for pulling it out you just need a screwdriver so that you can uh, you can just pull it out with the screwdriver but for uh, placing the back placing back the switch you just need to push it so as you can see I have just pushed the dim and dip switch and uh, it, it got it got uh, secured properly now we are changing the indicator switch as you can see the switches are pretty old and so you don't see any of the markings all the markings are gone uh, are gone and i am showing you the new one the top one is the new one and the below one is the old one so let's remove the old one from the plug yeah see how easy it is i just pulled it out and it came out and i have plugged in the new one and i'm just pushing it that's it you can change all these switches in a span of uh, 10 to 15 minutes and if you are if you already know how to change these and you have changed one or two switches earlier it will just take five minutes for you if you are a newbie it will take some 10 to 15 minutes not more than that and uh, in this uh, link that i am sharing it contains all the switches uh, the uh, the star i mean the turning on switch the horn switch the starter switch the indicator switch the headlight switch and the headlight dim and dip switch as of now i am just checking if the indicators are working fine as we change the indicator switch they are working fine so i am going ahead and changing the horn switch so in this link the horn switch is made by minda uh, so minda is a, a partner company for honda so even if you uh, take the original honda switch it will be made by minda so in this set i mean rest all are from a different brand i don't know there is no brand mentioned on the switch uh, only the horn switch is made by minda I showed you in the, uh, in, in the initial starting of the video so you can see here the old switch and the new switch so this new switch is made by Minda I have made one more uh, video where I have changed only the horn and the starter switch in a 2014 model Activa I will post that link in the description you can use the same link to watch that video as well to get a better understanding uh, in this uh, uh, in this video, I'll be changing all the switches. Uh, I'll be changing the dim and dip switch, the indicator switch, the horn switch and the headlight switch. The power switch is same like horn switch. So no need to uh, no need to worry about that. You can uh, you can just see the horn switch once again and change the power switch. Otherwise, there is a link in the description where you can see that for changing the power switch. OK, so now uh, we are done with the uh, left hand side switches, the dim and dip, the indicator and the horn switch. Now we will change the headlight switch. So this headlight switch actually comes, it's a single switch, but the new one has uh, 
two uh, i mean you have to push it twice i mean there are two steps uh, for the new switch whereas for the old one it's a single step just if you turn on the headlight will turn on and if you turn off the headlight will turn off but in the new switch there is a small bulb i mean the pilot bulb i think and after that there is the head switch so you, you have to push it twice but if I, after connecting it i push if you, even if you have one step or both the uh, and then once again step the headlight is turning on for both so it doesn't matter even if it is I, I'll show you that as well you can see here right so the new one has two steps so uh, let me put it uh, let me plug it in and turn on and check how it works so I have checked already and I'm using uh, these are some three months old so uh, this is uh, this is this review is after three months I have purchased in uh, April 2023 and this is July 2023 so uh, I have I'm using them for the past three months and all the switches are working fine for the past three months as you can see I have turned on the scooter and I have uh, verified and the headlight is working fine you can see here these are all the left hand uh, three uh, switches the dim and dip the indicator and the horn switch switches are made of good quality it's not like superb quality uh, but it's of good quality this is the old activa so getting switches has become a, a task for this so and right now you can see this is the headlight switch i showed you right it's a two step switch any step the headlight will turn on guys it takes a lot of effort and time in making these videos please do support my channel by hitting the like button and do subscribe to my channel and share this video if you like this video a link for the product is posted in the description. You can use these links for purchasing the products. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.